All right, I prefer a top-down view, so I'm going to click the cube in the upper right-hand corner and then go on to draw my rectangle by selecting Rectangle from the Primitives tab, moving the mouse to the origin but not clicking so that I can type the values I want into the box below. Now that my box is done, I can click the Edit Dimensions to check to see that the dimensions that I entered in are correct. They are. If I wanted to edit them, I could click the line one time, type in a new value, and I'd be good to go. So let's add the curves on the end by selecting Spline. Select the object you want to draw from, the beginning of the spline, the middle, and the end, and then click OK. Now we're going to repeat that on the other side. Okay, now we need to dimension those splines, so we'll click the gear, click Edit Dimensions, and single click that line to enter the value that we want, and then repeat on the other side. And there you go. In 90 seconds we have created our basic two-dimensional geometric shape and we are ready for our next step, which will be extrusion.